Introducing the FV510 Warrior, a legendary armoured fighting vehicle that has stood as a symbol of strength and versatility on the modern battlefield. Designed to provide formidable firepower and exceptional mobility, the Warrior has been a stalwart asset of the British Army for decades. In this introduction, we delve into the features, capabilities, and historical significance of this iconic infantry fighting vehicle. From its inception to its latest iterations, we explore the Warrior's evolution, examining its cutting-edge technologies, advanced weaponry, and robust armour protection. Join us as we uncover the essence of the FV510 Warrior, a true embodiment of military power and innovation. The FV510 Warrior, a formidable infantry fighting vehicle, boasts impressive specifications that contribute to its reputation on the battlefield. Weighing in at approximately 25.4 tonnes, which is equal to 25 long tonnes, this armoured vehicle strikes a balance between mobility and protection. With a length of 6.3 metres, which is equal to 20 feet 8 inches, with the 3.03 metres, which is equal to 9 feet 11 inches, and height of 2.8 metres, which is equal to 9 feet 2 inches, the Warrior exhibits a compact yet robust design allowing it to manoeuvre effectively in various terrains while offering a significant presence on the battlefield. These dimensions, combined with its advanced features and capabilities, solidify the FV510 Warrior as a force to be reckoned within modern military operations. The FV510 Warrior is equipped with a powerful Perkins V8 Condor diesel engine, generating 550 horsepower. With a power-to-weight ratio of 22 horsepower per tonne, this armoured vehicle demonstrates impressive mobility and agility on the battlefield. Its torsion bar suspension, complemented by hydraulic dampers, ensures a smooth ride and enhances its off-road capabilities. The Warrior showcases an operational range of 410 miles which is equal to 660 kilometres, allowing for sustained operations without frequent refuelling. On the road, it can achieve a maximum speed of 46 miles per hour, which is equal to 75 kilometers per hour, while off-road it maintains a speed of 31 miles per hour, which is equal to 50 kilometers per hour. With these exceptional speed and performance characteristics, the FV510 Warrior can effectively keep pace with the Challenger 2 main battle tank, enabling coordinated and synchronized operations across challenging terrains. The FV510 Warrior boasts Stanag Level 4 all-round protection, ensuring enhanced defence against various threats on the battlefield. One notable feature of the Warrior is the absence of firing ports, which allows for the installation of Aplique armour on the sides of the vehicle. Aplique armour is commonly added to Warriors during operational deployments, providing additional protection and further strengthening the vehicle's defensive capabilities. This supplementary armour significantly increases the vehicle's resilience and safeguards the crew and embarked infantry from hostile fire, shrapnel, and other potential hazards encountered during combat scenarios. By incorporating Aplique armour, the FV510 Warrior can effectively mitigate risks and improve survivability, ultimately enhancing its overall protection on the battlefield. The FV510 Warrior is equipped with a formidable two-man GKN Sankey turret, which houses a non-stabilised L21 a 130mm Rardin cannon as its primary armament. The Rardin cannon possesses the capability to engage and destroy certain armoured personnel carriers at a maximum range of 1,500 metres, which is equal to 1,600 yards. In addition to the main cannon, the turret also features an L9401 7.62mm coaxial chain machine gun, providing effective secondary firepower against infantry and light armoured targets. To enhance its defensive capabilities, the Warrior is fitted with two clusters of four defensive grenade launchers, often utilised in conjunction with visual and infrared screening smoke also known as VERSE to provide protective cover and concealment during combat operations. With this impressive array of weaponry, the FV510 Warrior is well equipped to engage and neutralise a wide range of threats on the battlefield. The FV510 Warrior's crew consists of three members, the driver, positioned in the front hull, and the gunner and commander, both situated in the turret. 
The vehicle is also designed to accommodate an infantry section of up to seven soldiers, who are seated facing each other in the rear hull compartment. Access for the passengers is provided through an electric ram-powered door located at the rear of the hull, distinguishing it from other armoured vehicles like the American M113 APC and M2 Bradley IFV, which typically employ a drop-down ramp for entry and exit. This configuration allows for efficient and rapid embarking and disembarking of troops, ensuring smooth and effective coordination between the vehicle's crew and the embarked infantry during operations. The FV-510 Warriors' entry into active service began in May 1987, when the first production vehicle was delivered to the British Army's 1st Battalion Grenadier Guards. Following its initial deployment, an additional four armoured infantry battalions in the British Army of the Rhine underwent conversion to the new vehicle between 1988 and 1990. In total, 789 units of the FV-510 and its variants were manufactured specifically for the British Army, further solidifying its presence and significance within their armoured fleet. Additionally, a modified version known as the Desert Warrior was produced for the Kuwaiti Army, with a total of 254 units delivered. This demonstrates the wide reach and demand for the FV-510 Warrior, both within the British Army and internationally, as a reliable and capable armoured fighting vehicle.